be libertarian with me for one election. One election. This year, Nebraskans have a choice other than Barack Obama or Mitt Romney for president. Gary Johnson, former governor of New Mexico, is on the ballot as a libertarian, which begs the question, what exactly is being libertarian all about? Basically what the Libertarian Party is fiscally conservative and socially tolerant. We traveled to Omaha's Old Market to meet with Michael Kniebel, communications director for Libertarians in Nebraska, who says that his party is picking up steam not only nationally, but locally as well. 2014, we're looking at, we're going to be running for every statewide election, we're going to run a serious candidate. Kniebel says this year it isn't realistic to expect Johnson to win the White House. But by achieving 5% of the vote, the party could earn as much as $90 million from the Federal Election Commission for 2016, which could propel libertarians to the next level, allowing them to seriously contend for the White House. Mike Grzynski is a doctoral candidate in political science at UNL who says that third-party candidates also serve to set the agenda. Um, but a big part of it is that, you know, I mean, they can run candidates... And they, even if they know they're going to lose, one of their purposes is to bring up issues that maybe the other parties would ignore. The Libertarian Party has a presence at UNL as well. Seth Wallace heads up Johnson's campaign efforts here on campus. And so I think mostly what I do down here is just raise awareness because I can't go out there and expect to be able to argue someone into being a libertarian. But I can lay out the policy positions that the Libertarian Party has in contrast to those of the two major parties. Speaking of those two parties, Kniebel says proponents of the two-party system shouldn't overlook libertarian momentum. It's, it's grumbling. It's grumbling. This election is going to be the tipping. Live free! Live free! In Newsnet, Nebraska, I'm Michael Schultz.